Vinod Khanna, the 6th of October 1946 to the 27th of April 2017, was an Indian actor, producer and politician. He was the recipient of two Filmfare awards. He was also an active politician and was the MP from the Gurdaspur constituency between 1998 to 2009 and 2014 to 2017. In July 2002, Khanna became the Minister for Culture and Tourism in the Adil Bihari Vajpayee cabinet. Six months later, he became the Minister of State for External Affairs. After making his film debut in 1968, Khanna first acted in supporting and antagonistic roles, as an angry young man in the movie Mir Apni, as the main villain in the super hit movie Mara Gaon Mara Desh, and as the military officer turned fugitive in the critically acclaimed movie Achanak, which was a film based on the events of K. M. Nanavati v. State of Maharashtra. Khanna played lead roles in many films and is best remembered for his performances in Kucha Dage, Ghadar, Imtihan, Mukadar Ka Sikandar, Inkar, Amar Akbar Anthony, Rajput, The Burning Train, Kurbani, Kudrat, Parvarish, Kun Pasina, Dayavan, Chandni and Germ. In 1982, at the peak of his film career, Khanna temporarily quit the film industry to follow his spiritual guru Osho Rajneesh. After a five-year hiatus, he returned to the Hindi film industry with two hit films, Insaf and Satyamev Jayate. Khanna has been posthumously awarded India's highest award in cinema, the Dadasaheb Falk Award in 2018 by the Government of India at 65th National Film Awards. <laughs> Early life Khanna was born in a Punjabi Hindu family to Kamla and Krishanchand Khanna on 6 October 1946, in Peshawar, British India now in Pakistan. He had three sisters and one brother. Shortly after his birth, India was partitioned and the family left Peshawar and moved to Mumbai. He attended St. Mary's School, Mumbai until Class 2 and then transferred to Delhi. In 1957, the family moved to Delhi where he attended Delhi Public School, Mathura Road. Although the family moved back to Mumbai in 1960, he was sent to Barnes School in Diolali, near Nashik. During his time at the boarding school Khanna watched the epics Solva Sal and Mughal e Azam and fell in love with motion pictures. He graduated with a commerce degree from Sydenham College, Mumbai. He loved cricket. The public may think I am just another film star, but there was a time when I played fair cricket with test player Budi Kundaran. Later I played with Eknath Solkar at the Hindu gym. I used to bat at number four but settled for films the moment I realized I couldn't be a Visvanat. Even so cricket, not films, is my first love," he wrote in the Illustrated Weekly of India in 1979. <laughs> <laughs> Career Topic: 1968 to 1971. Vinod was spotted by Sunil Dutt after graduation, and made his acting debut in Sunil Dutt's 1968 film Man Ka Meet, directed by Adarthi Subha Rao, as a villain, and in which Sam Dutt was the hero. A remake of the Tamil film Kumari Pen. At the start of his career, he played supporting or villainous characters in films such as Purab Aur Pasham, Sacha Juta, On Milo Sajna and Mastana in 1970, and in Mara Gaon Mara Desh and Elan in 1971. Topic: 1971 to 1982. Khanna was one of few Hindi actors who began by playing villains and moved on to play the hero. He got his first break as the solo lead hero in the film Hum Tum Aur Woe 1971 opposite Bharati Vishnuvardhan. It was followed by the 1971 multi-hero film about youth unrest Mir Apni directed by Gulzar. In 1973, his performance as an army officer facing death row in another film scripted and directed by Gulzar, Achanak, was critically acclaimed. It echoed the true life story of K. M. Nanavati vs. State of Maharashtra and Khanna portrayed Kawas Nanavati, the real-life Navy officer. In 1974 he played a college professor in Imtihan, which was different than his action movie roles. The movie was successful commercially in spite of releasing along with Roti Kapta Aur Makan and Majbur. This movie had the song, Ruk Yan Nahi Tu Kahan Harki, 
Picturized on Vinod Khanna, Khanna's Amar Akbar Anthony and Mukadar Ka Sikander were the highest grossing Indian movies of 1977 and 1978 respectively. Mukadar Ka Sikander was the third highest grossing Hindi movie in the 1970s after Sholay and Babi. Main Tulsi Tere Angan Ki was released in 1978. In this movie Khanna played a supporting male lead to Asha Parekh and Newton. Between 1973 and 1982, Khanna played the lead role in movies which included Farebi and Hatyara with Moshumi Chatterjee, Kate in 1975 and Zalam in 1980, both with Lena Chandavarkar, and Inkar in 1978 opposite Vidya Sinha. He did successful movies such as Domki with Kumkum, Ghadar with Yogita Bali, Aap Ki Katir 1977 film opposite Rekha, Rajmahal with Neetu Singh, Kun Ki Pukar, Shak and Adha Din Adi Riyat with Shabana Azmi, Aarop with Sarah Banu, Takat with Rocky and Parveen Babi, Jail Yatra and Insan 1982 film opposite Rina Roy, Daulat with Zenat Aman and The Burning Train with Parveen Babi. In 1980, he starred in Faraz Khan's Kurbani 1980, which became the highest grossing film of that year. He was, at the time, one of the highest paid actors in Hindi films. Vinod also starred in 47 multi hero films. In Shankar Shambhu, he co starred with Faraz Khan, and in Chor Sipahaye and Ek Aur Ek Jira, he co starred with Shushi Kapoor. In Hera Ferry, Kun Pasina, Amar Akbar Anthony, Zamir, Parvarish, and Mukadar Ka Sikandar Khanna appeared with Amitabh Bakan, and in Hoth Ki Safai and Akri Daku, he co starred with Randir Kapoor. He appeared with Sunil Dutt in Daku Aur Jawan. He acted with Jitandra in Ek Hasina du Dewan, Ek Bachara, Pariche, Insan 1982 film, Anoki Ada and Janam Kunli. He did Rakwala, Mara Gaon Mara Desh, Pathar Aur Pile, The Burning Train, Batwara and Farishte with Dharmendra. He worked with Shatrugan Sinha in films such as Panch Dushman, Bombay 405 Miles, Dust Aur Dushman, Pyar Ka Rishta, Daulat K Dushman and Duyar, beginning with Gulzar's directorial debut Mir Apni. Gulzar worked with him in Achanak, Mira and Lekan, after his first movie Mir Apni. Topic: 1982–1986 Khanna became a follower of the spiritual teacher Osho Rajneesh and left the film industry in 1982 for five years. Topic: 1987 to 2015. In 1987, Khanna returned to films with Insaf, in which he performed with Dimple Kapadia. After his comeback, he played romantic roles in German Chandni, but he was mostly offered roles in action films after Amar Akbar Anthony. His Muzaffar Ali directed Dimple Kapadia star Zuni is still unreleased. After Kurbani, he worked with Faraz Khan again in Dayavan in 1988. The movie was a remake of Manaratnam's 1987 Tamil movie Nayakan. In the 1990s, Khanna appeared in films including Mukadar Ka Badshah, Sid, Germ, Lekan, Humshakal, Akri Adalat, Maha Sangram, Kun Ka Kars, Police Aur Mudram, Kashatriya, Insaniyat K. Devta, Ika Raja Rani, and Ina Mina Dika. Actor Salman Khan played a supporting role in the film Nishchei in which Vinod Khanna is in the lead role. His pairing with Meenakshi Sashadri was appreciated by audiences and the pair made films such as Germ, Mahadev, Police Aur Mudram, Humshakal and Satyamev Jayate. Actor Ranjit directed Karnama in 1990 with Vinod in the lead role. He co-starred with Raj Kumar in Surya, An Awakening. In 1997, he launched his son Akshay Khanna in Himalay Putra in which he also starred alongside him. In 1999, Vinod Khanna received a Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution to the industry for over three decades. Since then, he started playing character roles in films such as Diwan Upon 2002, Red Alert, The War Within, Wanted 2009, Dabang 2010, and Dabang 2 2012. In 2007, he starred in the Pakistani film Godfather. Khanna also ventured into television, playing the male lead role of Kashinath. In the Smriti Irani produced Hindi serial Mir Apni, which aired on the Channel 9X in 2009. In 2014, he played the lead role in Koyalankal, in which he played the role of a godfather and leader of the coal mafia. 
He made his last film appearance in the 2015 film Dilwale alongside Shah Rukh Khan. The film was directed by National Awards winning film director Rohit Shetty and released on 18 December 2015 worldwide. He also acted in the film Ekt Rani Icb, a biopic based on the life and times of Vijaya Rajay Sindhya of Gwalior. The film was released in 2017 and also premiered on ZTV. Politics In 1997, Khanna joined the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP and was elected from Gurdaspur constituency in Punjab in the next year's Lok Sabha poll. In 1999, he was re-elected to the Lok Sabha from the same constituency. Later, he became Union Minister for Culture and Tourism in July 2002. Six months later, he was moved to the Ministry of External Affairs as Minister of State. In 2004 he won re-election from Gurdaspur. However, Khanna lost out in the 2009 general elections. In the 2014 general election he was again elected for the 16th Lok Sabha from the same constituency. No other Bollywood star has triumphed in four Lok Sabha polls 1998, 1999, 2004 and 2014. The BJP MP from Gurdaspur also served as Union Minister of State for Tourism and Culture, as well as External Affairs. Personal life Khanna met his first wife Gitanjali Talayarhan in college. Khanna married Gitanjali in 1971 and had two sons with her, Rahul and Akshay, both became Bollywood actors. In 1975, he became a disciple of Osho and in the early 1980s, moved to Rajneeshpuram. Khanna and Gitanjali settled for a divorce in 1985. In 1990, upon returning to India, Khanna married Kavita Daftari, daughter of industrialist Shirayu Daftari. They had a son, Sakshi, born 1991, and a daughter, Shraddha. Topic: <laughs> Illness and death. Khanna was hospitalized at the Sir H N. Reliance Foundation Hospital and Research Center in Gurgaon, Mumbai on 2 April 2017 for a few weeks after suffering from severe dehydration. He died at 11.20 a.m. East on 27 April, and it was revealed that he had been battling advanced bladder cancer. Although the news about his deteriorating health started to spread in early 2017, his family declined to disclose any information. He was cremated at the Worley Crematorium on the same day. Topic Filmography Topic Awards and Nominations Vinod Khanna won his first Filmfare Award for Hoth Ki Safai. 1975 Filmfare Best Supporting Actor Award for Hoth Ki Safai 1977 Filmfare nomination as Best Supporting Actor for Hera Ferry 1977 Filmfare nomination as Best Actor for Shaq 1979 Filmfare nomination as Best Supporting Actor for Mukadar Ka Sikander 1981 Filmfare nomination as Best Actor for Kurbani 1999 Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award 2005 Stardust Awards, Role Model for the Year 2007 Z Cine Award for Lifetime Achievement 2017 Dadasaheb Falk Award posthumously <laughs>